Hello, everybody. I'm the Hypertube here, and, um, yearly tradition at this point, ain't it? I haven't uploaded anything in a long time. Where do I even start with this? <laughs> this whole year was an interesting experience, really. And it's coming to an end. A very good end. Trust me, I don't think any one of us could have held this further. Now, as for the quality of this video, it's probably not as uh, high quality as you've come to expect. Uh, I'm not home right now. I'm enjoying my vacation. And, um, let's see, i got to do this dramatic effect where I check where it is I am. Uh, yeah, Dallas, Texas. That's where I currently am. It is pouring, and I believe there's tornadoes down there. So, yeah, that's not fun, either. Well, that's besides the point. Here we are. Here's 2020, coming to an end. Now, did anything I actually want getting done in 2020 happen? No, not at all. Why? Because the coronavirus decided to come on in and completely kicks in the butts. So yeah, that wasn't very fun. And really nothing about this year has been fun. You can say all you want about wanting to be better for this year, be better for everything 2020 related, but at the end of the day, nothing good really happened this year. Everything bad that could have happened this year decided to happen. My optimism at the beginning of the year went completely under the water. And things have been tough throughout this year. Whether it be distance learning that I've been having to do, you know, online learning at home with these with this very computer right here, this Mac. And whether and some of you might have seen me on uh fourth thirteenth Hurricane Week. Yeah, I, I am part of the 413 team, actually. Uh, I won't really delve much into it, but yeah. Uh, weather, meteorology, that's a part of my hobbies, and tracking this Atlantic hurricane season this year was also a feat. For those that don't know, this was the most active hurricane season on record. 30 tropical storms, 13 hurricanes, and 6 major hurricanes, possibly more on two of those aspects. So tracking that many storms was also pretty tiring, not to mention Typhoon Goni with his landfall in the Philippines, Cyclone Ampan with his landfall in India, and Bangladesh, not to mention Cyclone Yasa, and very recently, this month even. So everything has been amok around the world this year, <clears throat> not to mention January with nearly devolving into war and the death of famous basketball player, I believe he's a basketball player, Sorry, I don't own many sports, but still, I'll make a dose for Kobe Bryant. Not much I can remember from February, March, and April, but I know May, something happened in my home state, which I don't really want to talk about, but it caused multiple protests around the world that are still ongoing. To think it's been so long now. And things only got worse from there. Our lives got worse and worse and worse. We may have a vaccine now, but we have that other mutation. It's not any good. And even then the election, one of the most controversial elections I've seen, at least since 2000. And, I mean, at least it ended in a way that I guess some of us wanted. I don't like getting political, but I was never a Trump guy. I mean, Trump kind of hates my religion, so, you know, I don't know what else to say about that, really. So we have Biden, let's just hope he doesn't absolutely fail us. I'm not big on politics, really. I just want somebody who doesn't turn our country into a dumpster truck. And December has been unusually good, actually. Christmas went by without any major issues except for the reported explosion, apparently. Not even really Christmas could go by without anything bad happening, huh? But as we begin to enter brand new year, 2021, that's the year that we're going into. If we're going to be the realist here, there's absolutely no saying that 2021 will be any better. 2021 will likely just be a continuation of what this year has had to offer. But I think part of the reason we want 2021 so much is just for the fact that it is not 2020. It's a brand new year, a completely different year, a year we can start over. We're going to be more used to the situations we've been having to live with for the past year. Constantly having to wear masks, put on sanitizer, always washing their hands, always having to be careful around everyone we meet. We've become accustomed to this new way of life around the world. 
and it's going to be a way of life that we're going to have to stay used to for the longest amount of time until everything can come back to normal. Returning back to the life we had before 2020 is not going to be easy, it's not going to be simple, and it's not going to be quick. But the least we can do is understand that we're going to get through this. Who knows when it'll really happen, who knows how long it'll take. But what matters is that it will happen. It will happen. I just don't know when. We just don't know when. We're going into this year, brand new year, with a vaccine. We're going into this brand new year with experience. We're going into this brand new year with a sense of confidence. There's no saying if this confidence is warranted. There's no saying this confidence is needed. But this is the kind of confidence we're going to want if we're going to want this year to be better than this. This next year to be better than the year we lived through. We were not ready for any of this. We were not ready for nearly 10 million cases. In fact, I think it's likely more. I have just completely stopped looking at coronavirus news. Because there's no point in looking at it anymore. Looking at the statistics, things have been bad. Things have been bad. It's definitely much more, much, much, much more than 10 million. Let us see this. It's the pandemic. How many cases have we had worldwide? 82 million cases worldwide. 1.8 million deaths. The World Health Organization suspecting that at least 10% of the global population is infected. Let's do the math here, actually, for that, if you do not mind watching me. Multiplied by point one. Yeah, that's 700 million people. All the cases we have confirmed are just those that we know of. Those that get tested. There are a lot of people out there who have the disease, but they don't know. There are a lot of people who pass the disease, and they don't know. There are a lot of people who die from the disease, and they don't know. And even if we're never going to get the true statistics of this virus, we do have the true statistics of the year. And our only way of knowing if we're getting any better is if the rate of infection slows, and if we can get closer to a cure by 2022. There's not any reason to begin talking about 2022 right now. What matters is we're entering 2021. And how the year will be, we don't know. I could try to say a lot about my channel as a whole, but my main priority has been making sure I'm okay, everyone else is okay, because, I mean, school is not letting up either. Okay? When I signed up for all this, it was never taking into consideration how bad the virus could get, and it's gotten bad and I've signed up for difficult classes. And so the amount I may have wanted to upload, I haven't. I haven't uploaded any gaming videos, I haven't uploaded any reaction videos, I haven't uploaded anything. I still have videos that I should upload, they're unuploaded, they're unlisted, I need to make their thumbnails and their titles, but I gotta find the motivation. All my time and priority has been spent at my work. And YouTube is never going to be a full-time job for me. It's going to be a hobby. A hobby that I love doing because it lets me share my passion to the world. Let me share my passion to all of you who want to watch my videos. And we are at around 419 or 420 subscribers by now, and it means a lot to me, actually. Many people don't think you should celebrate such a number, but when this is all you have, that number's quite a lot. And even that, I can't say that it's all I have. I have a lot, and I'm grateful for. I'm pretty blessed to have everything I do have. I don't even think it deserves it sometimes, but 419 of you liking my videos enough to support me that way. 
I could fit a fit my school gym with that amount of people. I need like like six entire school buses to fit that number of people. That's quite a lot, really, if you think about it. From all around the world, probably. I don't know. Maybe they're all just in Florida or something. <laughs> yeah. In the end, must have come in 2021. No saying. I was rather optimistic for 2020. That optimism did not go very far. But what can I say? Really the least you can be is optimistic. Even if it's not warranted because there's no saying anything will get better. But as long as you can remain a realist and not be naive, being optimistic is a good bet. So as this year concludes, what can I say we've learned? We need to be on top of our game. We need to not be naive. We need to come together as, as a society here. Because we as the human race have not handled this year very well. I have never once seen so much conflict and so much debate over so many different things in a year over the internet or in person. And it really does confuse me how so many people can't seem to realize that going against each other is really no way to solve any of this. And... Oh, what is this? Why is my mouse? Has my mouse been there the whole time? I don't get that. Let me just... That and move. Whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know why that's there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening, but that doesn't matter to me. In the end, it's in the flat, but we're gonna go into this. We're gonna keep our heads high, but not so high we become delusional. When my next video will be, I don't quite know. I don't know how much I'll upload in 2021. Probably not as much as I did in 2019, but I'm hoping at least a little more than I did in 2020. Because the second half of the year was pretty empty. And I apologize for that. I just wanted to make this video as it is a yearly tradition. What's to come in 2021? What can I say? Who knows? This time. Dive to the bag, baby. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.